Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte. Today I'm talking about my setup and then the gears I use and shooting my videos. I must say I have had a lot of people reach out to me to um, asking me about what devices I use and how do I go about my setup and so on. So today I, I must actually apologize for not being able to do this on time. It's been long since I've been asked and I've kept being asked and I'm still not able to do it. So um, the, ch the challenge has been because I use a single camera and most of the time I shoot by myself. I'm not able to do that. But today, good for me, I have someone around who is just assisting me, that's Henry. So um, I'm actually having this shot on the phone, on my phone. So that's a Huawei P30 Lite, which you see a video about um, soon. So I'm starting with um, basically my background. So the background, I just have um, you know a colored, bright colored um, space, which adds up to the brightness of the place. And then I, I'm a fan of art a lot, so I have an artwork. I just got this artwork actually so initially i was having this um stand um bookshelf which is actually serving as a prop so um for my videos and then some a sofa here which are is for two people and then so basically i sometimes sit in the sofa and record my videos or sometimes i sit somewhere here with a chair um and then there's, there's a table which i have my um laptop mounted onto you can't see that maybe that'll be in a different video now let's come to the gear so with the gears the lights you may be asking about the light so i use uh these studio lights, they're actually two. So there's one here, one here. So what I mostly do is I bounce the light to the ceiling. Because the ceiling is white, it brightens the, the space. And because of the color I have for the background, um, you get to see some kind of brightness of the space. So that's with the light. I don't really, I haven't really checked the model for this, but I'll check it and I'll put it in the description of this video. So the lights are two, just bounce to the ceiling. And then um, I have, talking about sound, now I use, a lapel mic as you can see i deliberately put it here so you can see and uh, sometimes i actually fix it here so that when i speak it captures the sound i don't want to have it here and then when maybe my shirt is moving you know make some kind of noise in it and then the lapel is this is xbix uh that's the model for it you're able to record and into smartphone as well as into commerce and the rest but there's boya version of it i'm sure a lot of people will be familiar with the boya version of this particular lapel mic and then when it comes to the sound i use a sound recorder so as you can see it's actually recording this is a tascam dl05 sound recorder now the reason why i use a sound recorder is because i'm able to manage or monitor the level or the levels of sound i'm recording where i live i have airplanes passing by a lot so sometimes it's very annoying when you're in the middle of a video and then all of a sudden an airplane is passing by so i try as much as possible to keep the um, the level, the sound level is very low so that it doesn't pick up outside, um, you know, noise so that maybe during post-production I'm able to upscale or increase the volume of the sound a bit. And then I also, I have this headset here which I use in monitoring my sound before I start shooting. I make sure my sound is okay and then I go ahead to shoot. Now there are instances or maybe there might be about one or two videos of mine realized that the sound was a bit crappy. The reason was I forgot to record sound after finishing shooting the video because I do everything by myself or I shot the sound but I lost it uh, you know so much yeah it does happen so sometimes I think some of my videos I had to use the sound from the camera it was very bad but I had to manage it and I've actually been able to find a way to improve upon the sound on my camera so now I'm good if I'm able to shoot to the sound recorder I can actually stick to the camera sound so basically just that's just about it now talking about the camera um, I use the Sony a6300 um, um, it shoots in 4k it has a couple of good features and the rest and I'm using the kit lens of it so I'm not using any fancy lens um, just the kit lens of the camera now on top of the camera you see a mobile phone mounted over here now for my videos most of my videos I actually shoot using a teleprompter and i use my mobile phone to serve as a teleprompter so what i do is i mount my mobile phone using this mobile phone mount and then i have the um, hot shoe which i um, slot in on top of the camera where you mostly be putting your flash and then i have the camera position the way i want it and then i go about you know let me just turn this so you can see this so this is how it actually looks like so that's the teleprompter once i tap on it it begins moving and then I begin to read. Now, the way I'm able to keep an eye level on whatever is being, um, being recorded is I try as much as possible to keep the camera level um, slanted a bit. So from the top 
looking a bit down so once i have my head trying to read from up it's able to still capture me reading without it making it obvious that i'm you know definitely reading from something that's how i go about using the teleprompter i'll actually make a video on how i go about shooting alone using the teleprompter that's my phone as a teleprompter and then how also i'm able to shoot with the camera just all by myself so you realize this is not so uh, of a fancy setup here just there's no more basic stuff lights audio recorder uh, that's just about it and then my camera now this actual video just like i said is being shot with the huawei p30 light so you might be seeing a bit of shadows just pardon me because i don't have a second camera i just have one camera and i decided to have the camera in the shot so that's how come we are not recording the with a camera if you are new to this channel all you have to do is to hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so once again my name is Ishmael thank you very much for watching bye for now